I got too excited and I got paint on my nose just now. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to be redoing my room to give it a makeover. I hope I don't mess up, but let's try. I actually really like my room. It's pink, cozy, and it feels homey. Let's hope it goes well. <laughs> So here is a quick tour of my room so that you can see the before and after. The main thing that I want to do is to change this accent wall to a lighter shade of gray so that my room can look brighter. And as much as I love this blanket, I think I have outgrown this pink color and would like to swap it out. And I know I have a massive amount of dolls on my bed as well, so that's something I have to manage. <laughs> I have my record player stand there, record player, I have my desk there, some storage and way way more storage there so that's something I also want to try and declutter. Here we go! Alright, so I'm going to prime this wall first. Since I'm turning it into a lighter shade, I will have to prime it. First things first, gotta clear the way. This part's the easiest. I'm just putting everything in the hallway and pushing everything aside. to set up the painting supplies. And yes, that is a big bucket containing primer. I'm gonna need to outline it first and then fill it in. If only we could work and get things done like we do in time lapse whenever we wanted, we get so much more accomplished. Traffic would move along faster, hair would grow out quicker after a bad haircut, and people would have gotten their stimulus checks faster. <laughs> I'm fast forwarding and skipping through a lot of the footage, but in reality, this took several hours. Much like editing this video. <laughs> So, please enjoy this very cut down and fast forwarded part of the priming portion. Outlining took so much longer than I thought it would, but after that, it was time to select the paint color. Quiet comfort. This is what I'm going for. There's too many paint colors to choose from. I'm leaning towards Icicle. So, I got a sample of Icicle. But first, in and out lunch break. Some glucose and I'm back at it. Okay, I got this color sample, Icicle. I'm doing my paint swatch on my wall, but... Man, that was too white. Man, that's too white. Ah. Okay, back to Lowe's for some more paint samples. This time, I made sure to get more than one. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Alright, I'm back from those. This time, I got five different gray samples. Very similar gray colors. Hopefully, I remember which ones are which. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Alright, here is Latitude. Oh, yay! It has contrast. I got too excited and I got paint on my nose just now. Let's do Stone Eagle now. This is Saxon Gray. Okay, I'm liking this one. We have Windstorm. This is a little darker. And then we have Morning Fog. I think this is the darkest shade out of all the samples. I actually got out of line for this one <laughs> because they were all looking so light. I just didn't want to have to make another run or for a darker shade. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tape the edges while it dries and hopefully I can get a better picture of what it'll look like when it actually dries and maybe it'll look darker and I don't even know because Icicle kind of got a little bit darker you can kind of see the gray a little bit but yeah we'll see Stone Eagle it is all right going to Lowe's for the third time today and hopefully the last Okay, so I'm gonna buy a gallon because I'm not sure that one quart will be able to complete the job since I do need to do it a couple of times for a couple of coats. And two quarts is actually more expensive than buying one gallon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the one gallon so that I don't have to go to Lowe's for a fourth time. <laughs> Okay, first coat done. Okay, so while the first coat dries, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint. This 
She was hanging on my wall. Because I don't want it to be gold anymore, I want it to be white. And I use this. So in order to get everywhere, I put two plastic spoons in just the holes here so that I can go ahead and get to every crevice. Time for the second coat. I spared you guys a time lapse because it's gonna look the same anyway. Okay, I got paint in my hair and then I took a shower. <laughs> I also got a new bottle of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the old one. Also, I got this perfume tray. I've always wanted one, but never got around to getting one. Finally got it. So, I would have put that on there like this. So now I need to replace this one. It already smells good. Okay, gonna be replacing this. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> now it's time to peel the tape. Satisfying portion of it. Uh, oops. <laughs> the tape was just like stuck to the wall. It's not as easy as it looks like in the commercials, people. I'm done for today. I'm tired. Gonna go out to eat dinner. Haven't eaten dinner yet and it's like, it's almost 9, but see you tomorrow. Alright, it's the next morning. I have probably let my wall dry enough. Gonna go ahead and start hanging stuff back on there. And I have a whole bunch of mess to clean up down there. <sighs> okay, let's go. And for those of you wondering, I didn't actually let this thing touch the wall. It's just barely there. So don't worry, nothing's drying on the furniture. This one has also sufficiently dried too. It came out so pretty and white. I love it. Next is this blanket. And as much as I love the color pink, I think I should kind of change it to a white color now. Okay, this looks so much better and so much more mature, nice, clean, crisp, white. Now the only thing left to debate is which dolls to keep. In order to keep a couple of them, I'm gonna move some over to my boyfriend Moon's place. The rest my grandma does want, so I'm gonna give a couple of these to her. Okay, I narrowed it down to these. So in the end, it'll look like this since I'm gonna take this one to Moon's place. I mean progress, even though it's still a lot of dolls. So in order to kind of make it a little bit more clean looking, I got this from Amazon. It covers the socket so that it looks more clean and has that like kind of seamless feel. So it's also tied to more flex. And I got this as another extension. So this one actually comes with USB sockets. I think it has a USB socket, so that's one of the reasons why I got it. And there are no sockets on this side, so I have to connect it all the way from there. So that's why I got this as an extension. Okay, so I got this extension cord all set up and everything. It came with these little things to stick onto the wall so that it's more clean. And I also got this box that will cover up all of the cords. So my friend gave this to me and it's from Korea. And I think to make it more universal, they made it a USB power plug instead of a regular power plug. So I got that extension it's extending over there. This one is from my attempt to garden during quarantine and I thought I was not great at gardening so I thought I needed this. I wasn't confident in my gardening skills. Actually, maybe I can just put it onto that plant too. I'm supposed to like press them into the dirt. Yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> But anyways, this belongs in the backyard, so... This thing here, my college roommate actually gave this to me and it's a picture of us on the left side here and then a picture of half-naked Taesung from Big Bang on the right side. Uh, we really liked Big Bang as a house. She gave this to me as, I don't even remember, as a birthday present or as a Christmas present, but I just think it's really funny and I laugh every time I look at it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna leave this here because I have a hat box, but it, this doesn't fit in the hat box. So I'll leave this here as a decoration piece and maybe I can possibly put a doll on here so that I don't have too many dolls sitting on my bed. 
Okay, but the thing is, during meetings, this is what people see on this side. I wonder if they can only see up to the hat. Let me check. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Take you down. <laughs> Okay then, for now, I guess the hat will be the only piece of decoration on this dresser. Moving along to here. Hello, from the higher viewpoint. So we have this shelf here. This is from Ikea. And here's another example of my Korila Kuma obsession. I think I can actually get rid of this. I'm okay with it. So I'm gonna be throwing these away. Don't even know what's in it. Oh, just like random stuff that I don't use anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away, even though it's super cute. I love vintage cameras. I barely know anything about them, but I love the look of them. So I'm just gonna be keeping this here this is actually my favorite of my vintage cameras down here we have another shelf here we have the Hermione wand Hermione wand from Harry Potter this is from Universal Studios and so Moon actually bought this for me This is actually a makeup remover, but it's empty. I just thought the wine glass concept was pretty cute. So that's why I kept it here, but I think I should throw it away now. It's supposed to be like a massager kind of thing for like your back. Like, am I doing it right? <laughs> so I didn't show my laundry basket in my pre-room tour only because I was nervous that I might have underwear <laughs> exposed without me realizing. But I think I'm going to use the main laundry basket. Where do people put their pajamas? You know, like do they put them on the bed but then just clear it out when people come over? Like where do they put them? If I don't have this, where am I going to keep clothes that I feel like are too dirty to go back into the closet but also too clean to actually be washed? <laughs> That's a dilemma for a different day. <laughs> Moving on to this corner of the wall here. It's obviously very seasonal, but also I totally botched a nose job here. So this one I actually really do like. It's the Eiffel Tower. It's red, nice and sparkly. However, the sparkles fall down a lot here, so I have to vacuum a lot. <laughs> Time to tackle this massive storage unit. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with switching out this box. So I went ahead and got these. I'm going to be switching out with this. I pretty much have like old yearbooks in here. <laughs> Stuff that people don't really buy anymore. But anyways, gonna be emptying this box out and putting it in the new one. I just have the worst way to store my hats currently. But yeah, I just need to make it easily accessible and more organized. This is from Everland. This is from Japan, Disney Sea. And then this one actually is just from Kate Spade just to keep my ears warm. I wore that to Alaska. Bunch of masks that are, have all been washed. Okay. okay. This one. Put the hat box on this side here so that it's easily accessible for me to get the hats you know because i wear hats on days where i'm just kind of like don't want to see anybody today hope nobody sees me let's do a quick errand and <laughs> don't bother me see you again soon. i have four of these but only three of them fit into one cube so i'm just gonna keep three and throw away one how does that look next up we have these little pink doors that we will be switching out with these white ones. Okay, I gave up and That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's looking so far. It has the white and the beige colors. I want to tackle this. It's pretty much my jewelry section. And this is what made the cut. This has a missing earring, but I'm hopeful that I'll still find the other ones. I'm just gonna keep that there for now. And yeah, everything else is good. Chocolate came in this, but I used this tin container as like the button holder. This, I only kept it because these paper clips are so cute. Like, look at this. How cute is that? It's a paper clip. <laughs> Moving over to my hair stuff. So this is how it ended up looking like. This has 
no theme whatsoever. <laughs> These are metal model kits. This is just an example of the stuff that I made. It's an army tank. But yeah, it's super intricate, pretty small actually, but these are what they're made out of. I have a whole bunch left in case I get bored. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. Finally done! I kept an empty space there because I do have a bunch of this stuff to declutter. So I'm hoping that I can put some of the decoration that I don't have to give up too much and then be able to put it down there. But yeah, looking good! Okay, it's the next day, so it's time to tackle this portion. As you can tell, I really like this character called Korila Kuma. And I have a bunch of these dolls. Yes, it's a problem. Obviously, it's a bit excessive with my model cars, so I'm gonna be getting rid of some today. So I got these as a set, and I'm gonna try and eliminate them by looking at all of them together. All right, that was actually kind of easy. So next, I want to get rid of these bags here. I thought it would be good decoration, but it's just kind of clutter now. As much as I love this candle holder, Bath & Body Works does not make candles this size anymore, and this is pretty much used. You can't really tell from the outside, but the inside is pretty used, and I've kind of been saving it so that I can purchase candles at this size, but they just don't make it anymore, and they make it in this like giant, tubs now and definitely doesn't fit in there so i think i'm gonna have to get rid of it okay there's actually a lot more than i thought left so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this until i use all of it So time for the vintage cars. For some reason, I really like this Lego, the Joker Lego. Don't know why, but I just really like it. So I'm not going to be throwing this away. <laughs> mm, I like this military guy too. So yeah, I like military stuff for some reason. I'm going to keep this lamp here. I think it's adorable. A long time ago. If you're wondering what was in this box. I have a bunch of old cards that I've been collecting from over the years and so I keep those in there and I keep a bunch of face masks in there and there's absolutely nothing in there. Okay, so it's not as adult as I want it to look like. It still has that kiddish feature, but you know, at least it's more organized. And a lot less clutter. Don't forget that part. 